Hello Alec. I've played this hand recently, and I was hoping that you and the guys can tell me something more about my moves. Here is some reads for the players at the table. The new guy. Just sat down two hands prior but felt like a solid tight aggressive. Villain was a loose player. The calling station called a bluff of mine the hand prior with a bottom nonsense pair. The drunk guy was a little drunk, but still playing fairly solid. The rude player thought he was better than everybody else but had busted out twice with stupid plays, but still talked down to people. I had a loose image, because I had called someone solid with a bottom pair, plus an open ender and a flush draw and hit my river straight. I was still playing solid. I was the under the gun and I tried to raise to get value from worse and to force players to define their hands. I was not feeling too great when everyone called my bet except the blinds. To the flop. The flop comes with one more nine. I hit middle set and wanted to push any draws out, so I bet 125. With that many callers someone had to have a flush draw. I was not too worried about anybody having pocket aces. The turn comes with king of spades. I was happy to be heads up and pretty much have to assume I was up against a flush draw. If it was anything with a Broadway draw, I was about to see a raise. I bet $200 and villain calls. He either has a flush draw or two pair. Jack of clubs on the river, it is very hard for him to have queen 10 or pocket jacks. Flush draws missed. If he has two pair he is going to bet for value, if he missed he isn't going to call any bet. I decide to check. He fires 225. I snap call because he likely isn't going to call a raise with worse, and I don't want to pay him off if he hit a miracle straight. He flips over 6-3 of diamonds and I scoop the pot. My question is if the check at the end a good move? Could I have bet more throughout the hand and should I have? Did I left too much value behind by not raising the river? Based on the cards that villain had I don't think he would have called unless he put me on complete air. Thanks, Sean.